This video is specially important for all those who are appearing for the ICSE Physics 2023 examination which is tomorrow that is 17th of March 2023. Now you know that the ICSE Council has sent the sample paper and the sample paper for 2023 has the following analysis. Now you know that for physics most of you are overwhelmed with the syllabus, the vastness of the syllabus, the complicated concepts. So when you are revising for the examination, it's important to see the weightage for each chapter. Now can you see this force is MCQ just one, but short answer in section A, there were six marks. Section B, there was just three mark question. And that means the total weightage is 10. Let us look at the ones which are maximum weightage. Can you see this refraction of light in plane surface? And then we have these chapters over here, which are having 10, 10 marks each. So which are important for you to study? Force, refraction of light in plane surfaces, refraction through the lenses. Then we have the sound and then we have calorimetry. So these are the five chapters on which you will emphasize the most. So these five chapters pay attention to. Okay, now which are the relatively less important? Are eight marks each, that is work power energy. Then we have this radioactivity, which is eight marks. Now radioactivity you can actually fully concentrate because this is learning type of question with just a few numericals or applications. So this is going to be your sure shot answer question. Okay, so this is where you can get your full marks. Now let us look at the remaining ones. Current electricity, household circuits and electromagnetism. If you combine these two then you have 13 marks. And if you combine this electricity, it is 20 marks. So can you see this is 20 marks if you look at the electricity and magnetism. And then if you look at the mechanics, this one is 10, 8 and 4. That is 22 marks. Okay. These two again are taking up 22 marks. Now remember that whatever analysis that I have shown you over here, it is bound to be little bit more, little bit less per chapter. So this is not a sure shot way of knowing which one is to be exactly understood as the most important. But can you see there are five chapters. They are going to make up how many marks just see over here. This is 40 and this is 52 marks. So remaining marks also are to be achieved because all of us need how many marks? 80 out of 80. This should be your aim and try to see which ones are again sure shot. Spectrum even though it is two marks it's a sure shot question because you have to only learn it by heart. Sound will have the definitions, give reasons, application questions with resonance, learn them up. Force work power energy here you will have the definitions, the SI units you'll have to learn them, the formulas, and the numericals, so solve the numericals. Don't invest too much time in too difficult numericals just now in the last minute, okay? Because throughout the year you have studied really well. In machines, you can see somehow it's taking a back seat, but you will see that MCQ there wasn't any, doesn't mean that it will not come now for this year MCQ, okay? There will be some questions here and there, they may shift the marks here and there. Okay, but understand for machines, you will need to know your diagrams well and also the questions on mechanical advantage, velocity ratio, displacement of load, effort and also efficiency going up to mechanical advantage and velocity ratio and efficiency related questions. So learn these. Refraction in plane surfaces and through the lens. These ones are going to be again diagram oriented. So we will see that in these two, we will need to know the diagrams well. 
and also look at the small small numericals here you will have the the numericals based on the refractive index in terms of real depth and apparent depth or it can be like c upon v or it can be your mu1 upon mu2 you know those type of questions or it can be just simply real depth upon apparent depth okay so uh, refraction through lenses remember the lens formula and the ray diagrams the ray diagrams and also the position of the image according to where the object is placed and vice versa also you should know the use of different positions of images which are formed in the lens what is the practical application sound again you will have to know your give reasons definitions the factors that affect the frequency what are the factors on which loudness depends what are the conditions for resonance and the give reasons learn them by heart that should be enough for you current electricity again and household circuits here current electricity some of you may have a problem for the questions based on circuit diagrams so at least one circuit diagram will be there so current electricity remember circuit diagram questions you should be able to answer household circuit is very simple it's mostly learning time electromagnetism is all application questions so know your laws know your uh, rules the right hand thumb rule the faraday's law fleming's left hand rule right hand rule where they are applied you should be able to solve the questions based on them when it comes to calorimetry remember again you will have to have your definitions then we have the si units the interconversion of units so you will have joule into calorie calorie into joule and also we'll have the most important calorie meter the structure of it then we have the specific heat capacity the definition and the application questions on that go through your question banks go through the solve papers that you have done earlier okay then we come to the latent heat of fusion so latent heat of fusion you will again solve the numericals based on this and this and just get the general idea about how the thinking proceeds radioactivity again is a very very simple straightforward i don't think you will use much time in revising this the last minute revision for this maximum could be for 30 minutes i don't think you should waste more time on that calorimetry maybe you'll have to sit for an hour and complete all the difficult concepts just revise them but make sure that you know your simple concepts well this one again should take you about to one or maybe 2 hours okay sound should take you maybe about half an hour to 40 minutes spectrum you can finish it very fast here it will be a little time consuming maybe you will take about 2 hours and then for machines you should be in about half an hour you should be able to finish machines and force work per energy again you will take probably about 2 hours so just one day before the examinations let's look at it 2 and 2 4 4 and 5 uh, 6 and 7 hours 8 hours so approximately 8 to 10 hours between now and your exam time you should be able to handle the syllabus well so all the best for your examinations do your work neatly wisely cleverly and get full marks bye